In this video, I will show you how to fix if Steam games have no sound. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below the video. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see, I've currently got the Steam app open. So what you're gonna to want to do once you've got the app opened and you've logged in, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is come up to the top left hand corner and click onto your games library. Now, the first thing you're gonna to want to check is the integrity of game files, as if there's some game files that are damaged or corrupted, this can cause sound problems with some games. So to do that, you want to locate the game that you're having sound problems for in the games library on the left hand side. Then what you want to do is right click and from this menu that comes up, you want to come down and click onto properties. What it's going to do is open up a window like this. And if you come to this menu on the left hand side, you want to click where it says installed files. And from here, you can see an option to verify the integrity of game files. So just go ahead and click that button. And it's just going to take a minute or two to run through and check the integrity of files. Of course, if there's any problems, what Steam is gonna do is try to repair those damaged or corrupted files. So as you can see, all 374 files were successfully validated. So once you've done that, and if there was any damaged files once it's been repaired, try to launch the game again to see if that fixes your problem. What I would also recommend doing, which is probably pretty obvious, but if you actually check in the in-game menu, just to make sure that the volume is not turned down on the in-game menu, you also wanna make sure your computer sound is up fully from the bottom right hand corner. So if you have tried that, but you're still having problems with your sound, the next thing I would recommend doing is checking your sound card and making sure the drivers are up to date. To do that from your desktop, come down to the bottom left hand corner to your search box. And in here, you wanna go ahead and type device manager. Now go ahead and click on to device manager underneath best match. And that's gonna open up the device manager, which looks like this. So what you need to do from here is locate where it says audio inputs and outputs and you just want to click the small arrow next to this and then go ahead and find your speakers or your headset if you're using a headset it should be appearing under here. So once you found either the speakers or headset what you're going to want to do is select it then right click and then click on to update driver. So that's gonna bring up a window like this. All you wanna do is click search automatically for drivers and this is gonna locate if there's any updates available for your drivers. So you can see in my example that the best drivers are already installed. However, it could be a chance that your drivers are out of date, which is why you're experiencing some problems on Steam games. So if that's still not working for you and you're still having some problems, the final thing I would recommend is to just go ahead and fully uninstall and reinstall Steam onto your PC or laptop. To do that, again, come down to the search box in the bottom left hand corner and just go ahead and type remove programs. Then what you wanna do is click onto add or remove programs. Then what you can do is just use the search box here to locate Steam. So just type Steam into here. You can see we've got it here. And all you want to do is go ahead and install Steam from here to fully uninstall Steam. Then what you can do is go to store.steampower.com and re-download Steam onto your system. And hopefully that should fix the problem. So that is how to go ahead and fix Steam Games Have No Sound. I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.